Hey guys, this is uh, Mark Binia, and I'm here today to expound on the virtues of the Wilkinson Bridges. Uh, bridges I've used for a lot of years, and uh, I can't imagine uh, doing anything without them. Uh, I first discovered the tremolo system and the wobble arm years ago when I was, uh, I just bought my uh, first Les Paul Custom. It saved up a lot of money. And uh, upon uh, doing the first gig with it that night over the PA system for break music was Jeff Beck's uh, Pork Pie Hat. <laughs> and I remember hearing it going, okay, what the hell is he doing? He's grabbing notes, bending notes, uh, stopping them in midair, shaking them, doing all of these interesting things. I said, well, that's a wobble arm. Oh, great. I looked down at my Les Paul, no wobble arm. So I took it back, sold it, got a uh, got Charvel to send me a left-handed body and neck and had Gary Brower put it together for me. And uh, so at the time I was hip to Wilkinson, they... I noticed that it was a uh, it was a great uh, after using different types of bridges, uh, floating bridges, their type really resonated because they were tight and controllable. Uh, they you could do all kinds of, of great stuff with them. And uh, how I actually use my my wobble arm is I I have it straight on the neck. I'll show you in a minute, uh, straight on the neck so that I can put it put the heel of my hand on it and be able to play and bend down and grab it and do all of the things, much like a sax player would use uh, the embouchure of his, uh, his, his lips to bend notes and, and manipulate them. Uh, I find that that's incredibly useful. And no other system, no other wobble arm system aids in that like the Wilkinson. The, the tension of the springs, uh, the, just the, the, the overall control, it's, uh, there's, there's nothing that comes close. I got hip to the uh, FX100 bridge, and the first time I put it on the guitar, it was like the angels and the light came down. It was uh, amazing. I, the amount of control that I had over it was astounding. Um, the springiness of it, the tension, the all the things you can adjust on it to uh, to facilitate your playing style uh, were, were great. I, I have never played with another bridge that had that much control and was that ergonomic. Everything about it was... Uh, was at least for me it really catered to my playing style and it also allowed me to develop my playing style into doing other things that I normally wouldn't have been able to do had I not had one of those particular bridges on the guitar and I'll show you what I mean in, in a second here we'll go down to the guitar and I'll, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. The spring tension which is great on this it's very very uh, controlled you, you really have a nice tight control so you can actually establish rhythms with it stuff like that. You can hammer on the thing and the response time is so good coming back it, it smacks right back in time. So I'll give you a couple examples on how I'm using this stuff. Uh, again, wobble arm flat as you can see here. It's flat parallel to the guitar so that when I put my hand on it it doesn't, uh, it doesn't put me out of position. And then I can just simply rest on it. So uh, I'm able to bend those strings, manipulate them, and also impose a vibrato that's actually true. When you're using vibrato, you're usually always bending the string sharp. So you're bending it out of tune. When you use a vibrato, you're, you're doing equal amounts of bend below and above the zero line. So it's more of a... It's much more tuned bright vibrato than where you're pulling it out of tune. So... A good example of the wobble arm technique will be used uh, directly following this video on uh, the Dragon Choir live version of uh, Whiter Shade of Pale. I use that quite extensively during that piece, and so it'll give you a good example of how, how I use it in practice. So what you have down here, you can see the straight arm that I have that's parallel to the plane of the guitar, and all along here, if you get a close look, you can see that there are these ruby stones that have been embedded into the saddles of the Wilkinson Bridge. These were designed by Gary Erickson in a lab, and those are actual rubies that the string rests upon. So there, what's great about that is the fact that your fundamental tone is much more precise and pure, plus you have a lot more sustain. 
up here, you'll see that there's uh, along here inside there, there's ruby donuts, which is the same thing. Those are going to be ruby saddles that have uh, that are completely circular that the string travels through. So again, all on stone, and then also underneath the string tree, there's a slab of ruby underneath there. So everywhere along the playing field on the uh, guitar, you have nothing but stone. And so it doesn't cut into the uh, strings uh, because it rides on metal. It's all riding on stone, which is uh, really does improve the uh, tone. So there you go. Uh, again, I can't say enough about the Wilkinsons. They're, they're great. Uh, they're great bridges. And uh, I strongly suggest you look into it because uh, you won't find a better uh, design bridge in the world. It's the best. Why not go for the best?
I love that song.